What's up guys, it's Chris Herrio. Welcome to another vlog. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the 10 most effective pushing exercises that you'll ever really need. So I want you to do 10 reps of each variation with me. The first one actually happens to be regular push-ups. Let's go for 10. All right, there we have the push-up. The push-up is the fundamental to all pushing exercises and all push-up variations. By mastering the push-up, you're gonna learn proper form, how to contract the targeted muscle groups properly and to develop those muscles as well, being your chest, triceps, shoulders, and core. You need to properly learn the push-up or moving on to more advanced exercises that involve pushing with a greater force. And the best way to master an exercise is always to try to do it with perfect form. Doing push-ups properly with perfect form is gonna be way more effective, developing your strength to being able to do this next push-up variation that I have for you guys. Let's go for 10 explosive negative push-ups. All right, there we have explosive negative push-ups, a game changer when it comes to developing explosive pushing strength. What makes this pushing exercise so unique is that it forces you to give 100% every single rep and requires maximum control as you land and begin to descend. Working fast and slow twitch muscle fibers, contracting the muscles for a longer period of time and increasing the intensity with every rep creating hypertrophy, this is definitely one of the best push-up variations that you should be incorporating into your workouts. Now the third push-up variation I have for you guys is gonna be elevated push-ups. Let's go for 10. All right, so there we have elevated push-ups. Doing our push-ups elevated allows us to put more weight onto the pushing exercise, as well as emphasize more on our upper chest area. And remember, to develop the maximum strength out of your chest, you need to make sure that you're working every portion of your chest from the top of your pec, middle, all the way to the bottom, as well as your inner and outer. Also, working in an elevated pushing position is gonna prepare you for pressing up into a handstand, as well as handstand push-ups, developing your strength to apply more weight at a greater angle to your pushing exercises. And the fourth exercise is gonna be pseudo push-ups. Let's go for 10. Alright, so you should already know how tough those are if you've seen my video, The Secret to Superhuman Strength on the Thenix channel. The closer you're pushing from your waistline, the more body weight you're applying onto this pushing exercise, making it an extremely effective exercise to work towards pushing movements that require your entire body weight and full body control, like full planche push-ups, 90 degree push-ups, and more exercises that require superhuman strength. Also, by having your hands lower, you're engaging more of your mid to lower pecs when it comes to your chest. And moving on to number five, we have archer push-ups. Let's go for 10. Thumbs pointed forward and your fingers spread out to the sides. Let's go down on one side. All right, there we have 
archer push-ups. This push-up variation is great for when you've developed a good amount of strength with two arms and you wanna take it to the next level and start doing what you were doing with two hands to one, almost like having training wheels for one arm push-ups. Each time we do an archer push-up, we're emphasizing mainly on one side of our body and one arm, and also requiring more control and more muscle fibers fired up. The opposing arm is doing very little work when it comes to pushing, but you can always calibrate it depending on how strong you are on either side. But doing this exercise stretches out your chest as well and engages your chest from the inside to the outside. Now the next exercise I have for you guys is gonna be slow motion push-ups. Let's do one together. You want to keep your form as you're going down as slow as you can. So there we had the slow motion push-up, an excellent push-up variation that will train your weaknesses in every position of range of motion. Having solid control in every position of your push-up is going to increase your pushing power tenfold. At the beginning, trying this exercise, you may be shaking, and those are all your muscle fibers firing up. And eventually, you're gonna develop more mind-muscle connection and way more strength, shaking a lot less, and really seeing that translate into every other pushing exercise you do. All right, the next push-up variation is gonna be diamond push-ups. Let's get 10. All right, there we have diamond push-ups. Having your hand placement in a diamond position is going to increase the engagement from your inner chest to your triceps, making this movement a lot more difficult, but also gaining a lot more strength from each rep. Now moving on to the next exercise, we have typewriter push-ups. Let's go for 10. Start just like the archer push-ups. Come down on one side. And stay low and exchange sides. All right, there were the typewriter push-ups. With this exercise, you are constantly contracting your triceps and chest the entire duration of your repetitions, meaning when you normally do push-ups, you rest at least for a second at the top of every single rep. With this exercise, there is no rest point and you're isolating each chest as you move from one side to the other and applying more weight onto each side, developing your chest and triceps individually. Now the next exercise I have to show you guys is gonna be elevated pike push-ups. Let's go for 10. All right, so there we have elevated pike push-ups. With this move, we're broadening our pushing range by increasing the angle and engages more of your shoulders, which is a muscle group that helps the pushing motion tremendously. And if one of your goals are to handstand push-up or handstand press, then you're gonna need to master this exercise. And this is one of the exercises that you start with to being able to work your way up to those more advanced exercises. Now, finally, the last push-up variation that I find most effective is gonna be the 90 degree plus push-up. I want you guys to try to go for 10. Let's do it. You're gonna lower down into a push up and then lean forward.
All right, so there we have the 90 plus push up. And not only does this exercise get you used to controlling your entire body weight, but it gets you a lot closer to planche push ups and all other way more advanced pushing exercises. Now, of course, you've seen a lot of other videos. I've made one myself about 50, 100 different other push up variations, but these 10, in my opinion, are the most effective. And all the other push up variations actually stem from these 10 that I just showed you. But without these 10, those wouldn't be achievable. And that's why these are my top 10 most effective push up variations that you can get started on right now. Don't forget, you can get a list of all these exercises as a workout by downloading the Hair Pro app on the App Store, along with my personal workouts and workout programs that I do and post on a daily and weekly basis. And if you guys enjoyed the video, then definitely smash that like button. Share this video with a friend that's trying to take their pushing game to the next level. Comment down below and let me know what you want the next video to be about. I'm actually reading all the comments. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. I post every Thursday, 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes of any upload, you always have a chance to win some free Harry Apparel. And right now we have a summer sale going on, 15% off the entire store of chrisharriot.com. So if you always wanted a weight vest or some Harry Apparel, get it right now before the sale ends. And remember, for more of my content during the week, then make sure you're following me on Instagram. Almost every single post, I always do a giveaway. So if you want a chance to be a part of that, then make sure you're following. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next Thursday. Mad love. Peace out.